Hi guys, and welcome to another batch of your replays. And uh, as I was going down through my replay folder, I was kind of uh, in the mood for looking at some tanks I don't own or haven't featured on the channel very much. And I found two replays. I found a T-62A replay. Now, I don't think I've featured a T-62A on the uh, channel before. Uh, you guys seem to be sending me in a lot of Object 140 replays, but very, very few T-62A replays. So I picked a T-62 replay to uh, basically be a little bit different. And uh, I also got a, sent in a Type 58 replay, and I haven't featured that tank on the channel in quite some time. So I figured I would uh, include two tanks that you don't see on the channel very much. Uh, it just turns out that both those replays were sent in by people who have featured on the channel recently and that's just the way it works and I have been receiving a lot of mail and a lot more replays from you guys um, asking have you read my mail yet have you seen this video or have you seen the replay is the replay going to go up on the channel what did you think of this replay and I need to be perfectly honest with you guys I have so many replays I have so much mail um, I still have nearly 80 replays from last month that I need to go through, watch and decide what's going to go on the channel and what isn't. I still have 9.0 replays, I still have 9.1 and 9.2 replays that I need to give a second look to decide whether or not they go up on the channel. And then I have all of this month's replays which I haven't even checked my mail for yet. So uh, if you've been sending me mails going, well where's my replay, have you seen it yet, what do you think of the game? Is it good enough to go on your channel? My hand on my heart, I probably, if you've sent it this month, I probably haven't even seen it. So uh, the only thing I can say is just be patient. I know some people seem to be appearing on the channel more than others. That's simply because I'm going down through the replays in the order I receive them. And uh, yeah, for every one replay you see from someone, it's possible they've sent in four or five. And I've got to decide which ones are going to go up and which ones aren't. And I've been scrapping a lot of replays recently and I'm feeling really, really guilty. But anyway, let's get back to the video. It's a Type 62A replay. And as I say, I don't think I've featured the Type 62 a on the channel but it's from Neil on Travels who has featured on the channel quite a lot recently and we are here on Malinovka it is a 40 percenter and there are three arty on the enemy team now I said it before Malinovka in its current iteration I think is a little bit broken especially if uh, tanks starting on the north of the map can get down into the uh, K2 K3 area but Neilon's going to be working the 1 2 lines. She's moved up, she's using a bush. And gets a nice track shot in the E50M. Unfortunately, doesn't do uh, any damage. But forces the E50M to use his repair kit. And uh, with 3 RT on the enemy team, I'd be a little bit hesitant about six sitting around, especially after my 6 sense goes off. But Neilon has pushed back. Rather than advancing up into that corner, she decides to hang back, and uh, that's probably a good decision, especially as there's already an E50M and a WZ up there. So she gets a nice shot into the enemy WZ-132 and doesn't get spotted for her troubles. So another nice shot tracks the WZ. I probably... yeah, okay, she goes for another blind shot. And she takes him out! She must have set the WZ-132 on fire. So, uh, first kill, lovely blind kill on that WZ-132. And she did get spotted, she's fallen back, she's bouncing on the front of this IS-8. And something has happened that, again, you don't see very often anymore in Malinovka. And that is the enemy team have successfully pushed down into the uh, K3 area. And they've actually defended. They've managed to defeat the tanks down in K3. So some nice anticipation by Neilon tracks the E50 as he comes around the corner. Now there's a VK down here. And again, a lovely shot. I think she may have tracked the VK. And that VK got incredibly lucky. That VK was able to pen Neilon. Incredibly lucky shot by the VK. See, the major difference between the Type 62A and the Object 140 as Neilon gets hammered by the IS-8 
Um, the major difference is the uh, T-62A has slightly less gun depression, but it has much, much better armor, especially turret armor. So I'm really, really surprised she's got penned by uh, that VK. Yep, now she's side scraping, she's starting to bounce the IS-8, but she's taken a couple of very unlucky hits. So, uh, but congratulations, the enemy team did a really good job to uh, clear out the K3 area, and I really don't see that happen very much anymore. Gets a beautiful shot in on the roof of the Tiger II. But again, she's getting spotted, and she needs to be careful because there are three RT. So she's working this corner, but if you look at the minimap, you'll notice that most of Neilon's team are still sitting in the field around the cap zone. And the enemy team have advanced really aggressively up the other flank. And with three RT on her team, that means that there is only a Borsig up there defending RT. And Neilon is trying to get out of this position, but she keeps getting spotted. But thankfully, she has three RT on her team as well, and they take out the Tiger too. So, enemy Bacha... Oh, the enemy RT finally started starting to take an interest in Neilon. But the enemy Bacha has advanced. And thankfully, RT defends himself. RT shotguns the Bacha in the face and then goes down to enemy RT. Actually, it doesn't... There's an FV4202 up there who takes out RT, who takes out the Borsig, and now things are looking really, really bad on the other flank. Mainly because that Jagdpanzer E100, Tortoise T28, T30, and IS-3 are all still camping spawn. So RT is left basically undefended. Neilon takes this opportunity to relocate. She's taken some damage against the tanks down in K3, but they're hull down. So she figures she's going to relocate. She's going to go try and maybe save RT. T-30 is now taking fire. So Neilon basically needs to scout. She needs to spot these tanks up on the uh, 4, 5 and 6 lines. So once again, some really nice map awareness. Relocating, she's going to be... Uh, doing as much scouting as she can and hopefully her RT and TDs are going to be able to back her up. Still uh, a 50-50 game. 7-7 seven, seven is the score. And she spots a full health E100. Gets spotted in return. Takes a hit from the FV4202. Retreats, but she can't sit around. As I say, there are three RT on the enemy team. So, E100 has taken a little bit of damage. And Neilon goes for a nice shot in the lower glacis. It gets her spotted. E100's looking her way. But really, really dangerous to be hanging around. Oh, and she just takes a big hit from the E100, but in return gets a nice blind kill. So full health E100 has been taken out. The score is 8-7. There's a Borsig. There's an FV4202. In the meantime, the IS-8 that was down in K3 is advancing across an open field and dies. So things are looking a lot better now. The score is 10-7. But someone is spotting towards uh, Neilon's spawn because enemy R2 just took out a T-92. So Neilon advances, spots the E50, nice shot into the side of the turret, and that spot gets the E50 killed. Finally, finally she's getting some backup. There's an IS-3 moving across to support her, T-30 moving across, IS-3 spots the FV and gets hammered. So the FV is a one-hit kill, but <laughs> enemy RT is just going to work. They've just taken out the IS-3. Neilon is a one-hit kill, and so is the FV. 
So she fires on the move. Shot goes really, really wide. That was probably server lag. But she's sitting here and it's so dangerous to sit here with three enemy RT. She's hoping her RT can finish off the FV, but thankfully, thankfully she's able to pop up, get the kill. So just three enemy RT left. Neilon's on 3k damage, three kills. Enemy RT is spotting her. So she has spotted one of the enemy RT. And again, needs to be careful. Even splash damage will kill her at this stage. Spots the GWE 100 again. So she can't afford to get spotted. Goes for a shot through the tree. Moves into the open. And she gets spotted, but she gets a nice shot into the GWE 100. Is she going to hang around to finish him off? She is. There's one RT. One RT has just missed her. She's trying to relocate. Gets stuck. Just two enemy RT left. Nigelon's up to four kills. 3.4k damage. And dies. Okay. So really, really surprised. Nice. That I, I really, really think RT blind fired that shot. But as you're going to see in chat... Neilon does ask why she's still spotted. Any time around now. There you go. Was I still on radar? Enemy RT is saying yes, but I'm really, really surprised she was still on radar after that. Thankfully, her team come in, finish up the game, and win it, even though it was a 40 percenter. So that was Neil on Travel's first ace tanker in the T-62A. And as I say, I don't have this tank, and I haven't brought it to you on the channel before, but... The armor really, really didn't seem to work, uh, which was surprising because the T-62A has really, really good armor compared to the Object 140. But uh, Neilon finished top on XP with 1231, 3979 damage and 4 kills. Now usually, usually you wouldn't expect that amount of damage to get you an ace tanker in a tier 10 medium, but Neilon got there because she also managed to do 5177 assistance damage. So she was doing a lot of spotting for her team, getting a lot of assistance damage, as well as doing damage and getting kills herself. She received 5 hits and 4 of them were penetrations, and that really, really surprised me, as I say, because the T-62A is supposed to have amazing turret armor. I haven't played it myself, so I can't really say. Uh, she fired 23, hit 20, Ben 16, and she only managed to block 440 damage with her armor. But she did spot 3, she did damage 9, destroy 4, and as I say, a really, really nice amount of assistance damage. She earned uh, 27,000 credits with a premium account, and 1846 XP, again, with a premium account, and no bonuses thrown in. So really, really happy. Happy you finally got the ace tanker on the T-62A, Neilon. Nice game. Moving on, we've got a replay in the Type 58, the Tier 6 Chinese medium tank. And it's another tank that hasn't featured very much on the channel. And again, it happens to be from someone who has featured on the channel, Austin NW. Now, the Type 58 is a fairly average medium tank. Nothing special. I don't remember much about it. But uh, Austin... I did get a message recently saying that Austin NW was uh, leaving World of Tanks. That he was going to be focusing on World of Tanks Blitz. And that is a shame because I have really, really enjoyed watching a lot of Austin's replays. As you can see, he's been on the channel quite a few times. So I really have enjoyed his replays and I'm just going to say I'm going to miss you, dude. So uh, I have no idea how many more replays of yours I have, but... Uh, Let's just call this one the Ode to Austin, because uh, you were a nice player, really, really good player, and I did enjoy your replays, and you'll be missed. So I wish you best of luck in World of Tanks Blitz, a game I know very, very little about. But uh, we're just going to get back to this replay. It is a 53%er on airfield, pretty close game, and Austin's going to be working the middle of the map. So, yeah, I really can't remember much about the Type 58. It didn't impress me very much. It's uh, not a terrible tank, but it's certainly one I decided I wasn't going to bother keeping. So Austin's pushed up. 
Goes for a shot on the side of a T1 Heavy and maybe tunnel visions a little bit. Misses the uh, fact he was being flanked by a cha or Chaffee. Chaffee gets taken out, but Austin has taken a couple of hits. Really, really aggressive suicide scouting. And before Austin could do anything else, a Wolverine pops the ridge ahead of him. He bounces on the Wolverine twice. Wolverine pens him twice. Someone else hits the Wolverine and Austin gets him for kill number one. But Austin has lost a lot of health. It is a terrible start to the game. Austin's down to 261 health. And uh, enemy team are being really, really aggressive. They sent a lot of heavies into the middle of the map. So Austin is probably wondering what he can do. The Type 58 doesn't seem to have a lot of uh, view range. Just looking at its view range circle on the minimap, the view range doesn't seem to be too good. And again, more and more heavies are appearing to uh, Austin's left or to his right. So he's decided to pop up, try and use these bushes. And maybe try and get some shots at enemy tanks as they advance. Um, he was hoping maybe to get a track shot on that KV-85, but decides to go for the lower glacis and pens at an extreme angle, but a nice shot. And it doesn't get him spotted. So T1 Heavy is advancing, and Austin gets really unlucky with that shot. Just tracks the T1 Heavy, but thankfully the T1 Heavy sits there. No repair kit. Austin's able to pick up kill number two. So 600 damage, two kills, and a really, really rough start to this game. So again, Austin is sitting here and he, his patience pays off because an M4A3E2 decides to advance. Austin takes two shots, gets two shots in. Gets an extreme shot, very, very strange angle, but manages to pen the back of the uh, E2. Doesn't have much to shoot at. He's going for miracle shots here. But the E2 thankfully backs up, gives Austin another hit shot. Uh, but that shot does get him spotted. There's a KV-1 to Austin's left. No threat, bottom of the hill. But that E2 was very, very nice. Gave Austin 600 damage. Now KV-85 is still there. Two tanks on very, very low health ahead of Austin. Austin risks taking damage, just to subtract damage. No HP damage. I think he sends two easy kills on the E2 and the KV-85, but they're both taken out before he can get to the top of the ridge. So Austin decides... Maybe he's going to have shots behind him. Doesn't. Continues to advance. Type 58 in the distance. One hit kill. And Austin takes a snapshot. Hits but bounces. Again, very unfortunate not to pick up a kill. Only four tanks left on the enemy team. Austin's on two kills. 1200 damage. Now, the reason I'm including this replay is because it's about to start getting very, very hectic. It's about to start getting pretty exciting. So Austin decides he's not going to advance against a T-34, Type 58, and T-40. He's going to see if he can sneak in some damage on this SU-100Y. Checking to make sure the T-40 doesn't have shots. But he is a one-hit kill to this SU-100Y. Unfortunately, snapshots that one and misses, going for an extreme shot. Not much to aim at at the SU-100Y. And the SU-100Y is putting up one heck of a fight, just takes out an ELC. So enemy T-40 is moving in behind Austin, but Austin decides to go for the SU-100Y. Gets a nice shot in, but that T-40 is being really aggressive. Pens Austin in the side, pens him again. Pens him again. Some nice aggressive play by the T40. 
Austin's a one hit kill, 53 health. Thankfully the T40 bounces. Austin takes him out for kill number three. Now there's a T34 on full health charging in. Austin gets a nice shot, fails to track the T34. T34 misses, Austin gets another shot in. Austin is only a, he's a one hit kill, but he does take out the T34 for kill number four, 2K damage. And then finally takes out the SU-100Y, but take gets taken out in return for the last kill of the game. But uh, Austin was on very low health, took on a T-40, a T-34, and the SU-100Y, while only on about 53 health. Um, really, really frantic end to the game, but really, really nice game in the Type 58. And as I say, Austin, you will be missed. So that was a first class badge along with Top Gun and a mark of excellence on the Type 58 for Austin. He finished top on XP with 1146, 2181 damage and 6 kills. He fired 26, hit 19 and pen 17 but a lot of those shots were miracle shots. Some of them went in but quite a lot of them bounced or missed. Uh, but a really, really nice amount of damage in a tier 6 medium. He received 9 hits and 7 of them penned. So basically the armor on the Type 58 isn't very good. Even the tier 4 that was shooting at him was able to pen with absolutely no problems. He only blocked 190 with his armor. He spotted 2, damaged 9, destroyed 6, did 226 assistance damage and only came out with a profit of just close to 3,500 credits. I didn't notice whether or not he was firing any premium ammo but um, yeah, Type 58 really didn't impress me and it was results like this. 1719 XP with a premium account, no bonuses thrown in, but uh, I decided to include this replay because it got really, really exciting towards the end and because I did receive a message saying Austin was going to be leaving World of Tanks and I'm going to be so sad because your replays were a lot of fun to watch. Best of luck in World of Tanks Blitz and thank you guys at home for watching. I'll see you next time.